Hey everybody, this is a Cinema 4D tool tutorial and we're going to cover the cloner tool today. All right, so first of all, this is the cloner menu. If you click and hold this down, just grab a cloner. You'll see a bit of a grid that happens on the ground. We need to place an object into it for us to see anything. So if I grab, let's say, a cylinder and maybe I'll scale that down a little bit and place that into the cloner. And instantly we have a whole series of clones. So if you click on the cloner in the object manager, you'll see the attributes down below. And uh, if we uh, notice that we're on the mode here, we are in grid array. So it's placing these clones in a grid. Um, down below here, you see the count, and this is the amount of clones it's making. So if we increase the count along the X, it's going to increase more clones. If we increase along the Z, it will increase more clones. And if we increase along the Y, we'll get more along the Y, okay? So that is um, uh, the count. And then the other thing to take into consideration is the size. So if we increase the X, they'll spread out further, okay? If we increase the Z, they'll spread out further. And then if we had, let's do this, we'll add another count here. Uh, this middle one would be the Y. Okay, so that increases them X, Y, Z. Okay, we can also transform these, which I'll talk about transform in the next one, actually. So let's go on to the next type of um, uh, array that we can do for, so for mode. So one thing you may want to try is um, radial. This will arrange them into a circle. And if you increase the radius down here, you can see that you can get them to spread out further. Okay, and of course you can increase the count. Um, <clears throat> if we uh, want to angle these in any sort of way, you can go to the transform menu. So the transform menu allows you to change um, the position, uh, the scale, and the rotation. So just as a quick example, if we go to rotation, we increase the top one, you'll see that they'll start to, well, they're just spinning on their axis, so we don't see much. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the next one, we can see the rotation allows them to turn in on themselves, right? So you could angle all of these accordingly, which could be good. And then um, the next one, they should rotate to the left and right, right? So you get that sort of rotation with um, that. So transform allows you to do that. Um, Scale also allows you to change the scale of these objects, right? So along the X, Y, or Z. And then position would allow you to move the position of these in different directions as well. Okay, so that's, um, that is the radial uh, clone. And then of course, there's also the linear, which is just create a line. Um, here down below, we have a uh, count of three. It's gonna go, it's gonna, it's moving up along the <clears throat> the uh, y axis and it's moving 50 centimeters right down here. So if I increase this, you'll see them start to separate. Right? Um, you can have it um, move from the the different directions by increasing uh, and decreasing those. So if I make this zero, then and I increase along the x, then I should get them to move along the x. And back to zero, if I change this along the Z, they'll move along the Z. So that can help you as well. And then finally, there's the honeycomb array, which places them in an offset. And here you can see them offset in those directions. And you can change the count width and uh, count height, okay? And then also the percentage of offset. Okay, so that goes back and forth. All right, so that's that's basically the cloner. You can use it in a lot of different ways. You know, just as a you know a quick example, if I were to um, make this a radial again, right? And uh, if I zoom in on this, you can see a little bit better. Perhaps those could be you know uh, parts of another cylinder, right? So if we made this bigger, right, we could suddenly see that this could be little textures to a certain type of piece. All right, so cloner can be really helpful in modeling getting you uh, multiple, uh, instead of copy and paste like crazy, you can do multiples using the cloner. All right, that's it for now, and on to the next one.